Hello seniors and my friends from improv. Well, today was the last day of classes for seniors and we have basically reached the end. So yeah, um, anyways, I'm very sad. I'm very devastated that today was our last day. I'm going to miss most of my senior friends, even though we're going to be graduating all together. We're going to like have senior week, which is going to be fun. I mean... I'm going to miss you, Ava, and, but I will be taking your prom, and I'm very excited to take you. I am going to miss you, and I'm going to miss you, Tony. I'm going to miss you, Haley. I'm going to miss all my improv friends. I'm going to miss all my band friends. I mean, I'm going to miss all of you. But I am happy to be going to prom with you, Ava, and I'm happy to be, like, seeing my senior friends at the senior week graduation and some of them in my graduation party, which is June 11th. Um, I mean, I'm very sad. I, I am excited to graduate. I'm just very sad to leave the high school. But I promise you, Ava, I will come visit you and all of your other friends. I will visit. I promise you. And I will visit, like, all the other kids in the school. I mean, I'm just very sad to have to, like, leave. I mean... But um, but I'm but I am moving on, and I am going to Mitchell College, and I am kind of nervous to go to Mitchell College, cause I mean, I am gonna be homesick when I go there. I mean, but hey, I am gonna, I am gonna enjoy my new school, and I am gonna tell us the news, tell you guys what I've accomplished there. I mean, and I will be happy to stop by and see all of you guys because. I'm really going to miss you, and I mean, I will see some of you in like, like a prom or whatever, my party. I mean, I am going to miss you, but I am going to be moving on, and I'm just sad to have to leave, but now this video is very similar to the improv one, but hey, I mean, I am going to be missing all of you, you know, I mean, I'm glad to take you to the prom, maybe I'm, I'm actually going to be happy. I mean, I know how you felt when I saw you. I mean, I felt sad, too. I mean, we're all going to miss each other. I mean, that's just how life goes. Seniors move on, and then the next year, seniors move on. So that means next year, the class, next year, seniors will be the class of 2017. So yeah, I mean, there will be some new freshmen. I mean, I mean, you'll be a sophomore next year, Ava. And so will you, Haley and Tony. You guys will be sophomores. I mean, you guys move up to grades. That's just how life goes. It's the circle of life, basically. So yeah, I mean, I am going to miss all of you guys. I mean, I'm very sad. And I'm going to miss you, Corey, too. I mean, I saw you in CVS and gave you a huge hug. I'm just going to miss you. And I'm going to miss Allison, too, because we're both graduating. I'm just very sad to have to miss all of you. I mean, it's going to be hard to leave. And I'm going to be sad to just leave all of you behind. I mean... I mean, I love all of you, and I know that. I mean, I grew up with you, with some of you guys, and I'm gonna miss all of you guys. But, but one one sad part about graduation for the for all of you seniors, one part about graduation, and if you're hearing this, Katie Blackshaw, one one sad part about graduation is Tommy Blackshaw. Now, Tommy is a kid who was in our grade and. He didn't make it through the surgery. He passed away because of the complications of his heart. I mean, he would have graduated this year. This year's yearbook will be dedicated to him. Because he would have graduated this year. I mean, he was on the ski team. He was in my history class. And him and his sister Katie were very close. And, um... And, I mean, he had his first heart surgery when he was, like, very little. I mean, he did have many problems, but we did do the home runs for Hope. All the money went to Children's Hospital for his treatments. Because, um, he, Tommy Blackshaw was a fellow good friend. He was a very good friend and student. And it's sad that he passed away. He passed away on June 22nd. 2015, right towards the end of his junior year. I mean, I, it was very sad that, that a friend like, that we lost a friend like Tommy. I mean, 
he would have graduated this year. I mean, he would have been a senior this year and he would have graduated. He was 17 years old. He would have graduated. I mean, I know most of the soccer players have his name on the side of his t-shirt. I mean, it is very sad. I know, Katie, you told me that I make good videos. And if you hear this, I am talking about this. So, yeah, I mean, I mean, that's going to be one sad part about graduation is that Tommy's not going to be there with us. I mean... He was a very good kid. He he white. He drove a Mustang. He had his license. He was on the ski team. He went to the junior prom with Samantha, and um, he did come to school and was a good kid. He helped one of the seniors like pass the test, and he helped kids who were feeling stressed out. He was in band in the sixth grade. He played the trombone. I knew him for many years, for a couple years since the sixth grade. He was in my history class. I mean, him and I had a good time together. I mean, I mean, you rest in peace now, Tommy. I just want to do a moment of I, for all of you seniors and everyone who knows him. I just want to do a moment of silence to honor him. All right, thank you. Okay, this was that was our moment of silence. We are, and our thoughts and prayers go to him for the graduation. Our thoughts and prayers go out to him, which is the good thing. And I feel very sorry for you, Katie. I'm very sad that you lost your brother. I'm very devastated. And um, I'm so sorry about your brother, the loss of your brother, Katie. I did message you on Facebook about that. I mean, um. Tommy was a very, like, confident kid, a very good kid. He had, like, many heart surgeries during his life. I mean, he had his first when he was 11 days old. Then he had his second, which which meant he had to get his heart valve placed. And then he was fine for a while, but then his heart, then he had to get a, his first transplant on Valentine's Day. Then he had to get his second during his junior year. But, um... Which he didn't make, which he couldn't make it. I mean, Tommy found a way to pull out a miracle during the surgery. He always pulled one out, but this was not the case, unfortunately. Which is sad. I mean, he was very close to you. I mean, we were all very good friends with him. So that was a good thing. I mean, I mean, I do have my yearbook, and he's in my last he's in my last year's yearbook. I mean, he's right here in my yearbook. And this this year's yearbook will be dedicated to him. This year's yearbook will be dedicated to Tommy. I mean, I can strongly guarantee that because he passed away and was a very good friend of ours. The last few yearbooks were dedicated to someone else like like um my our my freshman yearbook was dedicated to the class of 2013 seniors. Let me go get my other two yearbooks and show you. Um, so yeah, um, the 2013 yearbook was dedicated to the class of 2013, and um, the 2014 yearbook is dedicated to in loving memory of Joe Leibowitz. He was born January 4th, 1996, and passed away August 20, 2012. Because in August, he lost his battle with cystic fibrosis. And I totally feel bad for his brother, Ben. And I feel brother for, bad for his brother, Zach. Because he also has it. I mean, Laura and Kate probably feel bad because they both have it too. But theirs is like not as bad. And then last year's yearbook was dedicated to In Loving Memory to Mr. John Green, who was born... August 23rd, 1943, and passed away September 20th, 2014, from a heart attack. That's why they do the Great Green Bike Giveaway, to honor Mr. Green. And then for the seniors, the yearbook is also dedicated to in loving memory of Cassandra Ann Dupont. Born December 21st. No, born December... Um, December 5th, 1995. This is just a typo. 
and passed away October 13th, 2012, because her lungs took a toll on her, unfortunately. And if you hear this, Jay, I'm very sorry for what happened. So, yeah, those are our last year. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.